Hello thinkers, I am Miss Mona Lisa and today we're asking the question What is music? What is music? So, what is music? How do we create music? And how much of our daily lives do we encounter music? Hey Miss Mona! Hi everybody, I'm Miss Information and I'm really excited today because what is music? Music, 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 music. I love music. Do you love music? I bet you do. I mean, we listen to it all the time, but I know something that about music that is really pretty true. I mean, I can't play an instrument. I don't even know really how to sing. So I can't really have any part in music. I can listen to it but I can't play it. That's not entirely true, misinformation. The human body is actually the original instrument, and everybody has one. The voice is a powerful tool for creating music, and in different cultures, they use different parts of the body to create music. For example, Ethiopian armpit music, beatboxing, and even hambone in the United States. Not to mention, anything can be made an instrument if you're creative enough. Oh, well, okay, that makes a lot of sense. But here's the thing about music. I listen to it, you know, like I jam out in my car and I jam out in my room, and I listen to all kinds of music. I mean, rap and classical and jazz and pop music and you name it. I even kind of like K-pop sometimes. But here's the thing, I don't need it, right? We don't need it. It's not essential to our daily life, right? That's not entirely true, misinformation. In reality, music is like a language and one of the oldest ones too. Some people even say that Language itself is music. Let's think about how we emphasize our words. <laughs> See, even our speech is used as music. We don't just rely on the words we say to convey our ideas. We use pitch and tempo and rhythm. I bet you make music all the time without even realizing it. All right there, Miss Mona Lisa. Man, she knows all kinds of stuff about art. It's crazy, but you know what? As much as I dream it and I watch television shows where people become famous musicians by being on a reality show or something like that, here's the thing. I don't know how to play an instrument and I don't know what I would do. I can't be a musician. You can't be a musician unless you get discovered. When we think about being a musician, we tend to think about those famous people we hear on the radio. But in fact, there are so many careers out there that we tend to forget about. Think about the movies you watch, the commercials you hear, and even the games you play. If not one, there are at least many people who created the music that you hear in that. They had to sit down and plan out how to make that piece of art more compelling. So you could be a composer, a sound engineer, even a recording artist or a music teacher. There's so many things out there. Let's create some music together using things that you could probably find around your own home. I'm going to start with my brush and my clipboard and start creating a rhythm. Once I've gone through that rhythm a couple times, misinformation is going to join me. And let's see what kind of song we can create. Are you ready? I'm ready. And hope. Good job. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed this episode, and I am not going to wrap that, but I'm gonna tell you right now, we hope that you like 
this episode and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a cool rhythm that you want to share with us, just do it, film it, and hashtag it, The Living Thing. So we'll see you next time on The Living Thing.